Oh, dang. Those are some good eyeshadows. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another video in my top five series for y'all today. So this is going to be my top five favorite small eyeshadow palettes. So these are smaller eyeshadow palettes that contain fewer eyeshadows in them and they're just littler, they're just smaller. So I'm gonna run through my top five, tell you why I love them, show you some swatches and do another top five. So let's get to it. So the first one I wanna mention is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and the Basics 1, not the Basics 2. I do like the Basics 2, but I like the Basics 1 a lot more. This is a palette that I feel like most people will look at it and go, that's boring. <laughs> and it looks like it could be, but really it's just very basic. I mean, it describes itself well. It's really not boring, it's really just very basic. So it's a great palette for having to pair with other palettes that are super shimmery. You just need some good mattes. They're all matte except for this one that's a little bit kind of like satiny. It's not really matte, it's more on the satin side. Um, but it's great for pairing with other palettes, but also it's really beautiful by itself. Like I love using this surprisingly for smoky eyes like it's these two are really pretty for a smoky eye and then you can blend it out with this so just a really beautiful kind of muted um matte smoky eye it's really beautiful for that but it's also really pretty with like a red lip or a bold lip if i'm gonna wear a red lip and i want that kind of classic pinup sort of makeup look this is a great palette for doing that and i feel like it's kind of like overlooked a little bit but it's such nice quality, like it's really pigmented. They blend really well, they wear really well throughout the day. It's just a good palette. And I think it can kind of be like easily overlooked because it's not like, you know, crazy bright or anything like that, but it's a good palette. Next, I would say the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palettes. So officially this one is in my top five because I think that one's the easiest to get your hands on, but I love this one too. I don't know if they officially like have names, but this one came in a BoxyCharm box. So I don't know if you can actually get this one. I really, really, really love this one. But since this one I think is more readily available, this is the one that I'm including in my top five. But these are such nice quality. Like they are super duper pigmented. They blend like a dream. They wear incredibly well. I mean, this is super high quality makeup here, in my opinion. Like when I first got this, this one in my BoxyCharm box, I was blown away. I've never heard of this brand, but I mean, the second I swatched them, I was like, oh dang, those are some good eyeshadows. And then I used them on my eyes and was super duper impressed once again. They're just gorgeous, and I love the tone of this one. It's really nice and warm tone. The other one's really pretty too, because it's kind of like pinky purpley toned, kind of taupey, really, really gorgeous. So if you can get your hands on one of these palettes from Studio Makeup, I do not think you'd be disappointed. They're awesome. Next is a drugstore palette that I think is so great. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette, and this is in 104 French Biscuit. So this is just a really beautiful, kind of like, everyday, really useful quad. Like that's what I love about it because it has colors in it that I think you get a lot of use out of, like a nice blending shade. You can mix these together for blending. This one is beautiful as just kind of like an all over smoky eye look or in the outer corner. This one's kind of like a fun nighttime going out sort of eyeshadow, but it can also be, be used in the outer corner. So it's really like versatile. So I'm super impressed with this little quad. So first off, I got the blue one, which was real bad. So I thought they were all gonna be bad, but then I started hearing people talk about them and they were all loving them. I was seeing swatches of them and they were all looking so good. So I went and grabbed a few of them and super impressed. Really, it's just the blue one that stinks. So this one is gorgeous. This French biscuit is gorgeous. I also really love Boudoir Charm. There's another one that has a turquoise, like a tealy turquoise color in it that's gorgeous too. They're just really nice quality. So this one has two mattes and two kind of shimmery shades. This one does have, you can see it, like micro shimmer in it, but that really doesn't show up nearly as much on the eyes as it does in a swatch. But I'm just so impressed with these. I'm so glad that I watched some other reviews and realized that I just picked the bad one from the bunch because 
the other ones I've tried are really nice. This next one is a definite never fail me palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Collection. This is such a great palette because it's so versatile. I've given this to my friends who are not like makeup obsessed, but wear makeup and maybe don't have a palette because it's one of those that like, it really is just a super usable palette. It's got lots of options in here. You can do an all matte eyeshadow look. You can do a very um, taupey, cool tone neutral look, a warm tone neutral look, an everyday work appropriate eye, a really nice dark smoky eye. There's just like endless possibilities in this palette. I absolutely love Silk Teddy. It's one of my favorite shadows for wearing on my lid. It's just beautiful and intense and metallic. It's really pretty just like dry, which I have it swatched dry here, but I love it with MAC Fix Plus 2 because it really kicks it up a notch. Oh, it's so pretty. And these are crazy pigmented. They're easy to blend though. They're not hard to work with. So they are really nice for maybe somebody who's new to makeup because it really is like just very usable and easy to use and one that I think a person could like figure out how to use easily because pretty much all these colors go together. I mean, you can just kind of grab and it's gonna go because it's just all very neutral and really, really beautiful. So such a great palette. And it's one that like, I feel like doesn't get a lot of attention on YouTube, but really should because I think it would work for so many people, really everybody. And then last, but certainly not the least, either this one or the Too Faced Natural Eyes is my favorite small eyeshadow palette. It's a toss up between the two, but I think this one might win out just a little bit, is the Tarte Tartist Pro To Go palette. First off, it's adorable. It just looks so cute. Like the packaging is so little and adorable, so I love how it looks in the packaging. But also, this palette is amazing. Such incredible quality. You get three mattes and three amazing metallic shades in here. So it's really beautiful in the pan. The packaging is cute. It's really beautiful in the pan. But really the most convincing part are the swatches because they really tell the story. I mean, oh my goodness. I almost don't even have to say anything because they're so impressive. Like the mattes, are just so pigmented, but they blend like a dream. They're so easy to work with. The metallics are so metallic. No MAC Fix Plus is needed here. I mean, they are just like intense right off the bat. You have to like warm tones to like this palette. Um, it's definitely very warm toned. It's not taupey or silvery in any way. It's very kind of like burgundy, golden, bronzy. It's very much that kind of a tone, but I mean, just such nice quality. They wear really well. This smells yummy. Oh my gosh, like vanilla. So it smells amazing and it just performs so, so well. So this is a great small eyeshadow palette. All right guys, so that wraps up my top five favorite small eyeshadow palettes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I would love to know down below what your top five small eyeshadow palettes are. I love hearing your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.